you from Tammy and of course Concerned Onlookers. I hope you're all well and staying safe in these troubling times. So I wanted to do a video about how to dress if you are going to Norway or any Scandinavian country. Something to look forward to. And you might be going there on holiday or like me you might be going there to live the love which I actually think must literally account for about three quarters of all immigrants to Norway. But like me, you might be from a country that gets <laughs> cold, but not too cold in winter. And I was really worried about what to bring when I first came. So I want to talk you through what you will need if you're going to visit a Scandinavian country in winter. And to start off, by winter, I mean about six months of the year, to be honest. So I live in Trondheim, which is in the middle of Norway. If you look at a map, even Oslo, which is relatively temperate, is actually much more northern than northern Scotland. It's about like up there with the very tip of Scotland. So just bear that in mind that whenever you're going, it might actually be a fair bit colder than what you're used to. So in Trondheim, I would say the winter basically lasts from November 1st until pff, we're in March basically April now and there's snow on the ground. I've got a lot of footage of snow falling because also what you have to be prepared for is the weather changes quite a lot. So I was quite upset because I was going to make this video and then we had spring arrive and it was 10 degrees one day and it was like wow spring is here and then unfortunately what happened was the snow is back. Well it's not unfortunate, people love to go skiing, people love to do winter sports, people love the snow but the snow is back, so I can make this video. So to start off, get dressed normally, put on your normal underwear, step one. Step two is where we go different. So you will need some thermal underwear. So just to talk you through, I'm wearing some thermal underwear right now. <laughs> this is the base that you will need because it's going to keep you nice and snug and it traps heat. Now you can get this from lots of different shops. You can go to Mountain Warehouse, you can go to Uniqlo, they have a lot of heat tech. A lot of people used to buy that. Um, when I lived in Japan, people used to recommend that if you lived in the north. This one is from Mountain Warehouse and I have a few. I'll just show you in the mirror. So it comes with this top, which you can undo. All thermal underwear comes with this top and then you should have a pair of super attractive leggings, which you should also wear and the night tights. I would almost recommend buy some to have when you arrive um, and if you're going on a holiday that might be enough but if you're planning to live here buy some in the country you live in because they will have a much wider selection and they're much better quality so I have purple one black one which I bought before I came and then I've also been bought as gifts here but I've got a lovely turquoise one and a nice striped burgundy one another tip is that you can really use them almost like a fashion accessory, like use it as if it was just a normal top and try and think. So one look that I do for work is the following. Um, with the top and I can undo it or I can do it up and the colour match is pretty good. The camera's making it look a bit more aubergine versus a cooler purple but in real life it's actually much less easy to differentiate. Another way to wear them is to really show them off so you can wear them popping out of the jumper. It's going to give you that extra layer of warmth that you probably need on your commute. You can show the cuff as well and you can really like, try and accessorise it because you've got to be practical. It can get minus 10 in the cities and I have a friend who lives in Rudos, which is this amazing UNESCO World Heritage Site which I'd really recommend if you're visiting Trondheim also visit Rudos and there it regularly gets to minus 30. When it gets to about minus 30 and below, you really can't dress out the cold. So, you know, this is the environment you're dealing with. So you have to think, you have to be practical. So if I was just going to a friend's house and it was minus 10, this is how I would wear it. You know, I've got my t-shirt on and I only need the one layer. However, if you are going outside for a prolonged period of time, there's lots of beautiful nature, maybe you want to go for a walk and see it, you want to go up to the mountains, what I would do is I would have this, and for example when I went to Grand Olsen, this was my outfit, so I had thermal underwear, t-shirt, then I put on my warmest jumper. So this of all places is from Georgia Asta. I just saw it and I fell in love with the colour, it's a beautiful purple, and then I've got that, I've got normal trousers on, 
but I've got my thermal leggings underneath and big thermal socks on. We'll definitely be needing some thermal socks, so these are a couple that I have. Again, I actually bought the matching ones <laughs> to my other thermal underwear by coincidence. So I have um, a plum and a black, I also have a navy, and then I've got these um, big woolen socks here. They're really good. You need your feet to be warm, you need your ankles to be warm. Let's just talk about jumpers. So look at this, it's thick, it's oversized, so it'll trap the air, it'll keep it in. It's a chunky knit. This is what you want. These are the warmest jumpers. You've got to think, where is the exposed flesh? Where am I losing heat? You've got to be like in it, Arctic Explorer mode. So for example, I also have these, which are little fake collars, but they're fake polar necks, and they're so good at protecting your neck. You can take them off, you can keep them on, you have them as a little like fashion accessory, but they're so good because your neck will lose heat and your feet will lose heat. So your feet, your ankles, you want to be protected, all your extremities, your neck, your hands, and your head. So finally, this is my Bjorn fit. <laughs> my Bjorn fit, and in Norway they call it a bear fanny, but when it's really cold, I need to have this on, and I don't care, I'm a quarter Ukrainian, I'm gonna rock it, I'm gonna, <laughs> you know, don't care what people think, because sometimes you need a really, really big, fluffy hat. The key is layers that you can take off. So if you're going to someone's house, you might need this for the walk, but then when you get there, you'll take it off because you'll be too hot, because the inside of the house will be very warm in comparison. So the key is definitely things that you can take off quickly, but also that protect you from the elements when you're outside and you don't have to bivouac. <laughs> like, in Norway and Scandinavia, you can't be outside in improper clothes. You just can't. You'll, you'll, you will ruin your experience if you are so cold. Um, yeah, it's, it's just not worth it. And you want to be able to enjoy that holiday, enjoy that experience, enjoy that new life that you've made. And the number one way you can do that is by having the proper equipment. So I would say, definitely before you come, buy that thermal underwear that you can have on. And bring your warmest jumpers, bring your heaviest t-shirts, your thickest, most snuggliest coats, and enjoy. So you should, you should be fine, and you can always buy stuff. It'll be quite expensive because it's Norway, um, and the shops are currently open even in lockdown so you can still buy them don't worry guys and you will have a great time and it's something to look forward to next winter maybe in the autumn and i hope you come and visit scandinavia it's a wonderful part of the world there's so much more that i want to explore come to trondheim it's a beautiful city full of history and nature and culture and yeah i really hope this was educational if you are planning on visiting, planning on moving to Scandinavia, let me know and <laughs> let's be buddies. But yeah, so these are my top tips and how to dress when you're in Scandinavia. I'm going to sign out there. Bye guys. This is the final look. I'm going to put my gloves on. It's going to be very high fashion. And the most important addition is snow boots as well. Uh, snow boots by Givenchy. And I am going to be ready to face the outside world. Now, this may seem over the top, but I'm just going to say it. Scott, the British explorer, died. And Amundsen, the Norwegian explorer, who probably was dressed like this while Scott was just in a little beanie, uh, Amundsen made it. So I'm going to and listen. He, he swore by this hot chocolate you're Ooh, drinking now. We're going to have some hot chocolate outside in the snow. The same brand. And my Norwegian guide, so my Norwegian Sherpa, has advised me that I had to wear this many layers. Um, so it was the perfect day to make this video.